I'd like to address some common misconceptions that I hear about exchanges. One is that, well, we want a state-focused solution. We don't want to default to a federal exchange. Well, there are several factors that have come out that show there's no such thing as a state exchange, only a federal exchange that's administered and paid for by the federal government. We know that HHS has to approve every detail of a state exchange, that states can't deviate from federal rules and standards. And because, like Medicaid, federal subsidies will flow through the exchange, we know that these exchanges will be forever tied to Washington through regulation. The other misconception that I hear about is uh, the fact that we have to do a state exchange or else the federal government will do it for us. We've seen reports that the federal health care law technically doesn't give HHS any money to set up a federal exchange. In fact, although they've granted $729 million to states to set up their own exchanges, they've only spent $150 million on their own, which has people wondering if states refuse this and the federal government has to set up 10 or 20 fallback exchanges, well, those numbers don't compute. We hear about that. We've heard about reports that the law technically doesn't give subsidies to people purchasing insurance in a federal exchange. But I think the, the bigger issue is that the timetable keeps moving. You know, over the past six months, um, federal, uh, the federal uh, HHS Bureau has made a number of statements that show their deadlines really aren't deadlines at all. The legislators like to talk about a January 1, 2013 deadline by which states need to get their exchanges certified. Well, in fact, in July, HHS said that if you can't get your exchange certified by, by, uh, by January, then we will uh, we'll conditionally approve it. They're talking about um, a hybrid model where wary states can share and exchange governance through um, some sort of federal exchange hybrid. In November, they talked about how they're going to extend federal exchange grants through the end of 2014. So what we're seeing is a number of concessions these HHS deadlines are moving targets, and I don't think state legislators should be concerned that we can't wait, because they can wait. State, the states, and especially the state of Idaho, HHS needs you more than you need them. Wait, we have the Supreme Court, we have the 2012 elections, we have as yet unwritten federal rules. It's very important to be deliberative and not to rush to judgment.